When the Rebbe said the sikh uh, that was printed in Chag Pesach Aleph, the Rebbe said the sikh on Achrin Shal Pesach Tav Shin Lamed Zayin, and the Rebbe was then talking about the role of Chinuch, the role of education. And this followed a year, Tav Shin Lamed Vav, the previous year, which was called Shnasa Chinuch, the Rebbe named it as the year of education. So the Rebbe was talking in the Fabring, and the whole context was about education. The Rebbe says like this, in regards to education, you're trying to turn this individual into a mechunach, somebody who's willing to be educated, and that they're going to get a new inyan, a new, something's going to be added that they didn't have. Whether this is an issue that negates something he believes, or if it's not something that negates, because it's a new thing, and it's going to it's going to interrupt their natural way, it's going to interrupt their behavior. So as long as the person being educated has yeshus and is putting themselves up, whether they're young in years or young in knowledge, then they're not able to become a mechunach. As the Gemara and Bracha says, clean mole in a machzik, a full cup can't hold. But it doesn't mean you have to give up on him. No, you have to work with him to make sure that they're a clean To clean them out from stuff that are built to your stuff that aren't positive, and then you could be mashpia. So that's, in general, the principle of Chinuch. The first, Zroik Mara B'Talmidim, you have to throw a bit of seriousness on the Talmidim, and after that, say the Halacha. Now, even though the Gemara says that you have to say, Nilsa Dibdi say something that will cause laughter, a joke, so what did the Rebbe explain in the Sicha? That is just a hachana to make the person, the student, want to listen to you. But it's not part of the actual pedagogy, it's not part of the, the educational process, which is transmitting knowledge. When it's about transmitting knowledge, the person has to sit by aim of a year, that person has to sit in awe with bittel to remove their, their sense of self and listen. Often when you're listening in the class, you'll see, or you're sitting in the class, that people are just waiting for the teacher to say something just that they can respond. So you're not listening. For me, it always baffles me how people at a lecture are having questions all the time. Now, if you just want to understand what the teacher says, it's one thing. But first absorb. Before you sit there saying how you feel about the knowledge, absorb it. The chinuch has to be sifsoy sabnait fesmar. It has to be spilling bitterness. In other words, serious. Because that's what bitul is necessary. And that's the message of matzah. And then we spoke and said that you have to then reach the next level. From Chag HaMatzah, you lead, you lead to Cheros, and then you lead, as we said, to um, Chag Pesach, which is jumping and leaping. But fundamentally, at the beginning, there has to be this seriousness. And for me, like as a teacher and as a student, I see this often that we forget this. We're sitting at a, a shear and we're forgetting. Now listen. You want to disagree? Disagree after you absorbed what was said. But if you're disagreeing as it was said, then in other words, your ego is at the session because you're already asking how it makes you feel about your ideas, then you're not listening. You're not a Talmud. We have to actually be able to listen. And only through that are we then able to actually fully absorb. Now the Rebbe does say at the end of the Sicha that you know the Alter Rebbe doesn't break, and the Rebbe then quotes from the famous um, mimer the Flum of Aida that it has to be done with even the seriousness. The bittel has to be done with Simcha. Says the Rebbe like this, and does that mean masmers? And you have to explain the student. For Vibal, does it have to be mashpiyazan? Even as an as an hagu b'tmidus zolzain, you want to influence him that his behavior will be going forward in the right way. So you have to explain him what we've been talking about. This incredible idea, the balance of seriousness. So you need he needs cheros zma cherosenu. So the person will respond, but he has to be tavdun. He has to be an evet. And how can you accomplish that balance? So he says, yes, because when you go out of Mitzrayim, there has to be cheroseinu. In other words, you have to, in, your, in Mitzrayim, you're being servitude, you're being pushed. 
you're giving women's jobs to men and men's jobs to women. In other words, you're unnatural. But now you're actually going to be free because you're liberated. You're living in a good headspace. So, yes, you're doing it but that's the ultimate freedom. And that's the way you're able to serve Hashem. So that the Rebbe says that's the, what you explain a kin. A kin. Even though you're begging and you're sorry, you're insisting and requesting that the child should give up the time not to not to play not all the time, but some of the time, but to learn Torah. But you're explaining him that this is not I'm not giving you slavery. I'm giving you leadership. Because that's true freedom. So the first step is bitl. And the second step is to explain that this is not Avedas Perech, but actually this is the ultimate path to your liberty. It's the ultimate path to feel genuine. And the, as the Rebbe says in page 75 in the Sicha, which is in one of the famous concepts that we know from the Rebbe, that this is true freedom. And then the Rebbe says, then you need the, you reach the highest level, the in Nitzlech, the thing that's most necessary to accomplish the Shlemus of Chinuch, and that is Pesach. What does that mean? that you literally leap that even though the student is young in years or in knowledge but you show him that he can leap that and if he takes and rabbi with a whole new level then he literally can become an incredible level and thus is the idof and inyan from pesach even though in general you have to go step by step, you have to jump in a way that that you literally become a, a rab yourself, you become a teacher. So this incredible steps in Chinuch is such a fundamental way of looking at, a, at, at you know, as teachers and as students to set the right headspace and to teach them that this is the true freedom and then to literally make them to the highest level of Chinuch. And the Rebbe says like this, in continuation, what we spoke about Chag is Chag Pesach, we know the Varta the Bardichever, that the Eivishter calls it Chag HaMatzis and Yidin call it Chag Pesach. While the Eivishter says the mile of Yidin, that they eat Matzah, Lechem Oini, and they went into the desert. When Yidin Zogin, the Ma'ilaf and Eivishtin, who Pasach Hashem, Hashem jumped. Dile Gala Kates, Valma Sein, he jumped over the Kates, he jumped over what they're, that they were undeserving on the Tzioi's Kalet. He does him. The Rebbe finished off the Sicha. Kimet says, Chamer Tzisar Melen Leflois, that Hashem should jump over our actions that are holding back the Gula even for a few minutes. And it should become Achishena Ba'agola Didan, Lamata Masar Etfar, Achim Mabiris, Mashiach Tzikenu, the Rebbe says, Like that, Amen.